Hey guys, Chris here from Indie Hip Chick and today I want to do kind of a quick skincare video. I know we do a lot of, you know, makeup tutorials and uh, like special effects makeup type of tutorials. Um, so today I just wanted to really focus on skincare and specifically my skincare routine and some of the items that I'm currently using as well as some of the products that I've recently transitioned from. So if you're interested in learning more about my skincare routine and those products, just keep watching. All right, so before we get into the products that I am currently using, I wanted to give you guys a little background on my skin, um, some of the problems that I'm having um, as well as just some of the products that I was using prior to this new set that I'm using now. So about a year ago or so, I decided to really get serious about my skincare routine, um, mostly because I was um, using more makeup in my, I wouldn't say daily routine, just in general, I was using more makeup. Um, than I was prior to about a year ago. Um, and I'm not saying that the makeup is the reason why, you know, I've had like increased breakouts or anything like that. It just made me realize that I probably wasn't doing the best job of actually clarifying my face and ensuring that there was no like makeup on my face before I went to bed or just makeup on my face in general um, and was causing, you know, pimples here and there from, of course, clogged pores. So um, it just kind of made me realize that maybe I do need to pay more attention to my skincare and what exactly I'm doing um, as far as making sure I'm truly clarifying my skin. So let's get started in that journey. Um, so yeah, so like I said, about a year ago, I decided to really get serious about my skincare routine. Um, and I started that off by visiting um, Sephora, the holy grail of makeup and skincare products. Um, so I went to Sephora and I did the skin IQ test, which is very similar to the um, color IQ test where they tell you what foundation color that you wear. Um, it's the same type of device. It just, um, it scans different parts of your face, but it tells you what your skin type is in that area. Um, so the lady used that little scanner and she scanned my forehead, the center of my face, somewhere around my cheek, as well as my chin area. And um, I have always had problems with um, dryness and just hyperpigmentation down here in my chin area. So I knew that something was going on here um, and then as you can see, I have like scar, like acne scars. Um, and that's because I do get acne, but I don't get it very often. I usually get it around like my period or if I'm not eating well, or if I'm drinking, not drinking enough water. Um, that's usually why I get it. And from those pimples, I get scars. Like I just, that's just what I do. I, I don't know, I scar. That's, I get a pimple, it'll be a little pimple a scar so um i wanted to get help with um you know preventing acne altogether um fading the acne scars that i had and then something for the area down here that gets dark especially during the winter so when she applied the device um it was determined that i have dry skin on my forehead region i have normal I don't know, quite know what combination is, but it was normal combination skin, I guess. And then down here in this region, it was very dry, which makes sense. That's why it gets dark, because it gets super, super dry, and I wasn't using a good enough moisturizer. So from that little test, um, she was able to pull up on the screen some recommended items for you know me to try and I also let her know that you know I wanted something that would also work with um, acne prevention and fading of scars so she recommended I try the Murad acne clarifying um, line which included like some a soap that was a clarifying solution it had some um, a couple different lotions and kind of like treatment type serums in it and then she also recommended that I give the old high skin old something old something I don't know how to say that name but um it basically is the truth serum she recommended that I give that a try for um you know acne scars and the hyperpigmentation and to help fade those away um due to the vitamin c that's in it so I did that for a little bit and um quickly learned that my skin was way too dry for that it just didn't it wasn't moisturizing enough um, this area has started getting really dark um, from those um, products and so I had to go back to Sephora and be like, hey lady, 
Uh, those things didn't really work that well. This part is just driving me crazy. It's just getting darker and darker, especially now it's getting cold. Like we, we need to figure something else out. Um, and so from there, she then, well, not her, but from there, a Sephora consultant recommended the Sunday Riley line. Um, both the Space Race line, which is their acne and clarifying, um, like hormonal acne line and then a few of the products that were more hydrating um so i used the um they have like a matte a mattifying toner in the space race and then they had a um ufo i believe that's what it's called was ufo which was the oil that you use for you know it's a clarifying oil those two i really liked i really 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 loved the um the toner, um, but I really like them in combination because it really helped um, kind of preventing that hormonal acne, um, which then reduced scars because you didn't have acne, no scars. Um, but then she also recommended Tidal to use as my, um, you know, overall moisturizer because it's super, super, super moisturizing, has hyaluronic acid and a few other things in it that kind of helps you know get everything even and then she also recommended luna as a night oil and good jeans um which is a lactic acid which means it's a chemical peel so all of these together i felt like they were working really well only problem was they had a huge price tag i think i was spending about 300 dollars on average to uh, re-up those products and I honestly didn't feel like I was getting that much of a bang for my buck like I felt like if I was going to be spending $300 every time I needed to re-up on those items that I needed my skin to be crystal clear literally like no scars no acne that will make scars this area needs to be no darkness um so this year I decided, you know, I'm going to go back to kind of my roots um, because prior to, you know, getting into this little skincare thing that I've been doing, I was straight up like black soap and shea butter. That was all I used, which works. It works well for people who don't have, um, who don't one, use makeup, and then two, who don't have, um, I guess, the problems that I was kind of confronted with because. I did use the black soap and the shea butter and this area was still getting super dry and would get super dark and I just eventually just accepted that in the winter this part was gonna be dark and that's just what what it was um but then I learned like no those moisturizers I, I needed more and that's why it was getting dark because I needed more the black soap was a little too harsh for my skin and then the shea butter wasn't really doing enough to really kind of make sure that that area didn't get super dried out um so with me going back to my nat more natural way, um, I found this set of items which are considerably cheaper and I wouldn't call them necessarily a dupe, but they do contain some of the same ingredients as the stuff that I was using from Sunday Riley, which is why um, I've started to use these items. So I've been using them for probably about, uh, all together, I've probably been using them for about two weeks, but some of them I got earlier than others because one company, sometimes it's kind of hard to get their products. Like it takes a minute for it to ship, but then like they're out of stock pretty often because I guess they're supposed to be like super bangers. So um, it took me a minute to get some of the products. So let's get started with the products that I'm currently using. So to clarify my face, I'm currently using the Camille Rose Naturals Turmeric Soap. The turmeric soap aims to remove blemishes and gently exfoliate the top layer of skin. Um, it also helps treat eczema, acne, psoriasis, and stimulates the blood circulation, keeping the skin soft and smooth. So I use that soap and then I follow that up immediately with The Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. The Hyaluronic Acid is supposed to be great for people with super dry skin um, because it aids in replenishing moisture. Um, and for this, you only need about two drops usually I'll apply an additional drop just in my chin area just because I know like that part gets dry um, so I applied that right there um, 
but yeah, but it, it's and it's kind of thick, so you really don't need a lot. A uh, little goes a long way, and it absorbs right into your skin immediately. Like, it might be thick, it might feel a little tacky, but it's gone instantly. Like, it's, I don't know what. This stuff is great, at least for my skin. Like, it absorbs right on in there. Um, okay, so then after I applied the hyaluronic acid all over my face, I then applied Bahi's Galore's Garden, which is a vitamin C serum. This aids in fading the dark marks and brightening my skin overall. Um, it contains vitamin E, vitamin C, and orange extract, and it's just, it, it's great. Like, I noticed that, um, actually the hyaluronic acid is something that I recently just added. So, prior to using that, I had to use at least, like, three or four pumps to get the Galore's Garden to be all over my face, how I wanted it. But with the hyaluronic acid, two pumps is all I need. I don't know what is in that stuff, but it helps make your pro it helps spread your products. Like literally, all I need is two pumps of the Galore's Garden and my whole face is good. So immediately after Galore's Garden, I then apply um, Bahi's Sunflower Sweet Serum. That is their holy grail item. Like, I hear so much about the Sunflower Sweets, like about the miracles that it does as far as with acne, as far as with acne scars. So I'm super, super excited to see um, just the state of my face in a, um, further down the line. Like I think about like in a month or two, I'm excited to see what things are going to be looking like. But so far, I really, really enjoy it. Like they're, um, I have not really had any additional pimples since I started this regimen, so I I feel like that's great for me anyway. Like, no new pimples means no new scars. Um, and with that, I've noticed that a lot of my scars are starting to fade. Like, they're, they're fading really well, especially the ones that aren't as deep set. Like, I think I have one somewhere, I can't really see. One right here on my chin, which is kind of a deep set scar, but it is fading. So I don't expect those to kind of fade as fast as the smaller ones, but I have definitely seen an improvement since I've started using all of these products, especially all of them together. Um, but yeah, so back to the Sunflower Seed Sweet. This serum is supposed to help with unclogging your pores, reducing your breakouts, evening and evening your skin tone. And it can also be used as a moisturizer, which is exactly how I use it. I use it as my last step. My moisturizer, it is pretty thick, and I really don't need anything else, especially like down here. Like if your product works in this area of my face that's super dry I'm like you are you're a winner and you're staying in my regimen and so it works really well here um but yeah so it also contains vitamin E tea tree oil jojoba oil turmeric oil orange extract grapefruit ab abstract and grapeseed oil so this is like a jam-packed serum and I love it and oh my god it smells so good like I don't know something about it, it reminds me of sweet almond oil the scent of it it just smells really really good so those are the items that I currently use every morning for my skincare routine I also use these items at night except I add an additional step um, which I do right after washing my face which is apply lactic acid and basically that is a replacement for good jeans for me anyway because it is the same thing it's a chemical pill it's a five percent lactic lactic acid serum or i don't even know if you want to call them serum it's a vial of five percent lactic acid and it you just apply it to your face and it's like a chemical pill and that mug is efficient <laughs> let's, let's put it that way it's efficient it doesn't burn my face or anything like i noticed that when i use good jeans it kind of had like a little tingle this lactic acid does not have that tingle at all it's also not in lotion form it's more like it reminds me more of water like it's thin you just kind of apply i do three drops one drop here one drop here and then one on my forehead and center of face um and it's great like I think the main thing that I've seen the biggest improvement is in the texture of my skin um, prior to doing um, this routine and prior to trying out the high-end version of this routine I was constantly like I always felt like I had dead skin on my face and so I was like exfoliating and I learned that that's not that's not good like using a scrubber to kind of like try to get the dead skin off um, and that la introducing lactic acid to my routine I haven't had to do that like it's literally my face is butter soft but it's smooth don't feel like there's any dead skin on it at all and 
I'll say that the ordinary lactic acid is a winner. So if you are using good jeans and want to try something that's a little bit cheaper, I would recommend it. Can't say that there's like, you know, a, I wouldn't say it's technically a dupe, I guess, but I feel like it works really well. So I don't know. It just depends on what you like. If you like that lotiony texture, then good jeans is probably where you should stay. Stay. If you don't mind it being a little bit more liquidy, then the ordinary lactic acid is a winner. That is my overall skincare routine, and it is considerably less than the skincare routine I was using a few months prior. And I would say that I really, really like it. Like I said, um, the texture is really the main thing that has improved the most. I have had um, the scars are starting to fade. Um, I really have been like watching a few and I'm like, oh yes, they're really fading away. Great. Um, and then like this area, I wouldn't say it's like extremely, it's, I feel like it's, mm, I don't think it's all that bad. Like I know it's, it's been worse. And especially like, we live, I live in Indiana, so, if you don't know anything about Indiana's current weather, it's April and it's the winter is whole no. And so in the winter, especially this past winter, it's been super, super dry. And I have not had that problem with this part getting super dark. Like when I say it gets dark, it gets dark. And it, it's just, I don't know, it just, it just gets dark. And so I haven't had that problem, especially since uh, including when I started using these products. I have not had that problem all winter. If you didn't notice, I did not mention any face masks in this routine because I have not found a face mask that, well, that I have used personally that I like. I was trying to use the, um, the face mask from the Space Race um, line by Sunday Riley and it hurt. Like it, it legit it hurt and so i was just like i can't i can't do it and then i was using the um the drunk elephant mask for a little bit and then I, there was one time i had i think i don't know if it was because i maybe exfoliated before or maybe it was a product that i used that it just didn't work with but usually it didn't burn but that time it burned so that i have not been using that and i didn't get the big one because that is expensive i got just a little 20 dollars option um but I just haven't found a mask that I really like yet because I'm just not into my face burning. So that's just not a thing for me. I am thinking about trying maybe the one of the Bahi masks because I really do like their product so far. And you know, maybe I'll try one of theirs or maybe a Camille Rose mask. I don't know yet. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please put those down in the comment section because I would like to add a mask to my overall routine because it just seems like such a relaxing thing to do, to sit in a, a mask in your robe with your bonnet on and just kind of relaxing i don't know that's just what i envision when you use a face mask like it's just your time for self-care um so i like to add one to my to my routine so if you have any suggestions of masks that are a little bit more natural and will not burn the crap out of my face please put that down in the comment section below yeah so that is all that I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate it. Also, if you have any feedback or just product recommendations in general, go ahead and put that in the comment section as well because we'd really love to hear from you guys. Like we tell you every video, we like to hear from you. Um, yeah, I think that is all. Um, I will do an updated video maybe later on in May if I introduce any additional items to my routine and just kind of let you guys know if I'm still liking it if I feel like it's actually having some real significant improvement um but other than that that is all that I have for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one